is, um, and we don't always, it's hard to always answer public comments. And there's a, several reasons for that. First of all, it's truly your time. We, we are, we're another a, a abnormal thing from what I understand is usually municipalities have one public comment. We have two. We have it at the beginning and the end. We want you to be heard. We want you to have your allotted time. We don't monitor minutes. You can speak as long as you want. We're, we're encouraging that. We can't always answer everything. First, first reason is sometimes we don't have the information at our fingertips. Um, and, and it's just difficult to answer off the cuff questions because we want to be accurate. And I know our professional and our solicitor feels the same way. You're not, we don't want to answer incorrectly. So sometimes it's better to take the information and notes and gather our facts and then answer at a later date. So there's nothing personal there, it's, it's just business. Um, zoning hearing board minutes, they are not kept here. They historically have never been kept here. They are transcribed. First of all, the zoning hearing board is the legislative arm of the township. It has nothing to do with these supervisors sitting here. We don't even know when they happen. So when they do happen, there's a separate solicitor. His name is Steve Tazak. He runs the zoning hearing board meetings for Union Township currently. He has an own, his own stenographer. The, the meeting or the stenography is done and kept with that stenographer in Mr. Tazak's law firm. So if someone does want them, even if the township wanted them, we would have to pay for them, I'm assuming. Um, so just, just to clarify that. Um, okay, and, uh, something else, and this is on a personal note. I, I want some of the taxpayers to know this. It's been a very, very difficult year. I know it's, it's easy to judge how, we're, how our body language is, it, you know, who we're looking at or if we're looking down, but it's been a very, very trying, tremendous year for Union Township. We've, we've, you know, we've been through the global pandemic and trying to manage and, and protect staff and citizens. That was a feat in itself. Let alone, we've had an exorbitant amount of litigation. Everybody's aware of the litigation. They, they understand how costly it is. We haven't even totaled it. I, I know the litigation on Cardox Road is not a, a completely over yet, but we've had many wins in court and we've spent over $100,000 and that's only with a, the one portion of our legal team. We haven't really sat down to quantify the costs with sweat law office. So the township taxpayers is paying a lot and, and it, it's, it's a lot. There, we have no choice when we're sued, we have to defend. And um, with that said, there has been a tremendous amount of Facebook posts that have painted the board and individual supervisors and their families in a very false light. It's been a tremendous strain on, again, myself, my family, our, our other supervisors, their families, and although we are elected officials and we have a high burden of, of accepting that type of criticism, it's still a stress. So I wanted to um, just let everybody know that it's been a tough year. If, um, if anyone has perceived anything based on that, I, all I can say is um, apologies, and I truly mean that, uh, but I just did want to go on record that it's been a tough year and um, we're, we are persevering through it. And I'm thinking that this new Facebook page is going to help, it's created correctly, and it's going to help alleviate some of the misinformation that is out there. And we're gonna promise to the taxpayers and the community members invested in this township that we are going to keep you notified on a daily basis of what's happening with facts and truth. And I thank you for listening. Very well said, Heather. Very well said. Can I make one more comment? Um,